Dude. Son, we got like nuggets. Shut up. No, seriously, too. You shitting me? All right, y'all. We're back down on the creek. Will, internal compass of NC. Justin, X4 prospecting. Last time we were here, we killed it. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to find that gold. All right, Justin's tying it off so we don't lose it in all this flood water we have going on. No, she's low. That is a joke. But big shout out to Dream Map. We finally got the dredge mat in the box. And also another noteworthy mention is John and Steven. They came down and we completely <laughs> cut out every single one of these hungarian riffles to accommodate the dream mat and i'm loving it and this this is honestly a temporary setup justin got up with paul jarvis and we've got a new box on the way so this is going to look completely different but man we got to run that dream mat and up top we got the punch plate and there's a few hungarian riffles and then you have your miners moss and carpet under it so we're going to see how this setup catches gold today. So while Justin's up the way dredging, I'm gonna get to moving some rocks. Uh, this bar in the center is the accumulation of rocks that wouldn't fit through the dredge nozzle. So they've kind of piled up here and I'm trying to get them out of our way. And to be honest with you, uh, rock management is the biggest thing in dredging from what I found. Uh, it's a pain in the butt to move the same rock over and over and over again. So what I'm trying to do here is really just get them out of the area that we're going to be working. Um, they won't be there forever. Mother Nature's going to come along and move them back to where she wants them to be anyway. But right now, we're just going to see how this works. And to be honest, after about three or four of these tubs of rocks, uh, my preferred method, y'all, is just throwing them. That's so much easier. But yeah, it's my turn to get on the dredge, and Justin, he's doing a few test pans right here, just confirming that we're staying on the goal. Look at the bedrock. We started over there just breaking this bookshelf bedrock up and pulling it away from itself and getting everything in between those cracks. We started working into this bar a little bit. But yeah, we got some good test pans out of here. All right, y'all, we ran out of one tank of fuel and that's how we're gonna kind of judge it. And I'm looking at probably half the cons that we had with the other box configuration and I am liking it. Everything we added to the box has held up so far. 
So we're gonna get back to it, get this cleaned up. We'll see how we did. we just found cleaning up the box. Check it out. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah. See it up top. Dude, it's everywhere. Look at all that. Mm. Breaking up that bedrock straight off. Dude. Son, we got like nuggets. Shut up. No, seriously, too. You shit me. I'm about to drop my pan. Bro, y'all, this is. Oh my god, two of them. Two pickers. Good grief. Dick. Bro, that is badass. <laughs> oh my god. That's point two right there. That's easy. Easy point two right here. Oh my goodness, brother. All right, y'all, we haven't consolidated everything. We got a little bit in this pan, a little bit in this pan, but look at what North Carolina gave us today. That is awesome. Look at that. That's a North Carolina picker if I've ever seen one. North Carolina nugget. Yeah, man. definitely nugget, my bad. Wow. Awesome job, buddy. Dude, I'm digging it. All right, y'all. This is what we got for that tank of fuel. And I'm not going to lie, this is some beautiful North Carolina gold. These pickers, or North Carolina nuggets, as we call them. I mean, those are impressive. I mean, we don't find those every day. And the day's young. We're about to get back at it.
All right, so right here, I made a mistake. I opened the cock valve completely wide open and it about took our cameras out. When this box surges, it puts a lot of pressure through that box and it comes out the other side. But uh, yeah, look, Justin did not even notice. So y'all don't tell him about that one. Keep it between us. So I just took a test pan from here, and I mean, it's four inches deep. I was testing the top of the material, see if it had gold in it. And it's got a fair amount. One test pan, like everything to hang out of this hole here, it's pretty good. Ran out of fuel for the second time today. Two gallons of fuel we went through. Shut off prematurely. We didn't have a time to let it run for a second to clear out, but you know what? More cons, hopefully more gold. We'll see. Gonna look at it in both pans before we consolidate it. And there's gold everywhere in this pan, and look at that gold out here living the dream, brother. Amen. I think Justin approves of the uh, cleanup. I do, even though I was being a hog on the dredge. It's all good. That's what it's there. My back might uh, feel a little bit better than yours more. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that gold. 
like Justin said, we've uh, we've had snuffer dumps a lot worse than that. And uh, we are absolutely loving this dredge. Dude, it's a game changer. For sure. We thought the uh, high banker was a game changer, and it was, but man this uh this game is all about volume um land and ground's important but it really comes down to just how much material you can put through this box them for the third time. We're going to do a clean up and uh, see how much gold we got. got in each pan all that gold up around the top there's a pile of it we got more right there as well i don't know if we're gonna combine these or just snuff them up and then do a snuffer dump but sun's getting kind of low and i am two hours from the house and steven and john are down here so i want to talk with them before we leave but see how we did today looks like it's going to be a good one all right y'all we got some visitors john and steven came down here that's a happy man right there. Yes, sir. And I'm going to show y'all why he's so happy. Look at that gold we got today. 
Look at those. That's awesome. Couldn't ask for a better day. We're gonna get everything packed up. Me and John, we got a little road trip ahead of us. And uh, <laughs> happy we made the trip. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. We had a blast on the creek today and found a lot of gold. Had an opportunity to hang out with John and Stephen for a little bit. And man, you can't really ask for more of a day. I, I'm guessing 1.35. Justin, what are you guessing? Uh, 1.19. John? 1.5. 1.05. What about you, Stephen? 1.4. 1.4. I like the way you think, Steve. But thank y'all so much for watching. Justin, he's going to get it back home and get it dried up. We'll see who won. I don't know about y'all, but after our hard days of work, seeing all that gold is just a beautiful sight. And to even catch a few that uh, won't even go up the snuffer is even better. What an awesome day on the creek. Uh, you really couldn't ask for a better one. Uh, hanging out with good friends on the creek is always, always a good time. But finding, you know, record-breaking gold for us, man, that's just a plus. But without further ado, y'all want to know just how much gold we caught that day. So here it is. One point five two two, y'all. That is amazing. Let's see who won. I'm going to give that one to Steven. Amazing golden eye, brother. You did good. Justin, thank you for the cleanup video, buddy. And y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each one of y'all. See you on the next one.